Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 11, 11 a.m. Fireside Chat on this wonderful Wednesday, October the 27th, 2021, last in October. This month has flown by like a witch on a broomstick. It ha, surely ha, ha. has. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me, Vicki Meeks Miller, your Community Engagement Manager. And I am delighted to have a special guest join me today. Um, I would like to introduce you all to Miss Sarah Chocolate, who is the administrator of the Richfield Living, Joseph C. Thomas Assisted Living. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, and uh, administrators are very, very busy folks, so we are honored to have you join us, and thank you for um, taking some time out of your schedule to be here with me today. Um, we are um, in the holiday season as well, and so that makes things even more so busy, correct? It surely does. Indeed, indeed. Yep. So, Sarah, tell us a little bit about your position here and how long you've been here with us at Richfield. Okay, I have been here at Richfield since May of this year, so a little over five months. Um, it's my position currently, I'm the administrator at the Joseph C. Thomas, as Vicki already said. Um, I oversee the building itself. Um, I oversee the staff that are there, and I help as much as I possibly can um, with the success and the happiness of the residents that are there. Awesome. Now, that, again, does entail a whole lot. And oh. um, the fact that you've been here since May, you know, we have been trying to arrange this oh. introduction to the community since shortly there, at, at, shortly after you came here to Richfield. Mm -hmm. But again, the busy nature of her schedule yes. allows for us to be able to meet today. So we're very happy about that. Yep. And um, I know that um, there are some very happy residents and team members there. I had the honor of attending an open house there last week. Mm -hmm. And so we'll talk about what's going on at um, the, uh, at the uh, Joseph C. Thomas in just a few minutes. So tell us a little bit about your background. How did you get into the senior care industry? So I actually started out in nursing school. Um, I got to my senior year of nursing school and realized I didn't want to provide the direct hands-on care but I loved the, the elder population. So getting into um, leading those who love to provide that care um, was a passion of mine. Um, when I was really young as a child, I was exposed to the elder generation. Um, and at a very young age, um, I spent a lot of my time with my great grandmother. Um, she had a cattle farm in um, Tazewell, Virginia. Um, so when we weren't out in the fields playing with the cows and in the river, um, we were in nursing homes visiting people from the church um, and volunteering our time. So it brought a lot of joy. Um, I saw the benefits that it had for us going to visit with those people, um, and it put a, put a love in my heart at a very young age. Wow, wow. So um, that became a, a great inspiration for you yep. in, in the choice of your field of, of, of work, study and work for okay. that matter, which is how a lot of us come into the field. That was sort of yeah. my experience as well, spending a lot of time with my grandparents yeah. also. So tell me what you enjoy about your position. Well, there is always a surprise every day. Nothing, no day is the same. Mm -hmm. um, so there's always something new to learn, something new to do, um, and something new to experience, even if it's just listening to a story. Um, the residents at the Joseph C. Thomas Center are um, very lively, very exciting, um, and wonderful people mm -hmm. to get to know. Awesome. Yes, uh, they are, and your team is wonderful. As a matter of fact, um, one of your team members was the winter, winner of our Susan uh, Woody Williams uh, Award last year, yeah. which is the Employee of the Year Award for mm -hmm. Richfield. So um, once again, you have awesome and dedicated staff, as well as wonderful residents. I have quite a few friends over there at yeah. the JCT that I love to come visit. 
So um, what is happening at, at the Joseph C. Thomas Center? What will uh, you all be doing for the holidays and what things are in the works? So in the works right now, we're looking at a family, um, a family night, both in November and December. Um, mm -hmm. We're looking at bringing in campus as well, if you guys want to participate in that, um, just to have the families get together and meet each other and meet the other residents. Since everything has been closed down, we want to make sure that we go out with a bang for this year um, to be able to involve those family members and the residents as well. Um, so that's one thing that we're doing. I'm also going to challenge my staff, which they don't, they are not aware yet, um, to decorate their households um, and having a competition for that for Christmas. So um, I know that we generally have a Christmas tree in every household. So they'll be decorating that as well as the household itself. So I would love to have a contest to see what household wins. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So you mentioned the household. Tell households there at the JCT. Tell us about the households. Um, and they are, how many are there in the building? And um, if they're specifically geared to uh, any type of care? Okay. So we have six households. Three of them are assisted living. Three of them are memory care. Um, usually there's anywhere between 14 to 16 residents in each of those households. Um, so very small intimate groups, intimate gatherings, and they get to know each other very well. Um, and it's usually um, a staff member to at least a staff member to each household um, to help out in that household whether it be to provide care, to help with activities, or to um, just be there for that resident. Wonderful. Um, and uh, there was an open house that was held uh, last week and uh, so that we could go in and, and just kind of uh, get some greater insights on what JCT has to offer. Uh, there is always an opportunity for anyone, any resident, um, or if you know of someone who is considering assisted living or memory care, you can always contact uh, contact us and we'll put you in touch with uh, Jennifer Hanks, who is the admissions coordinator or director, I'm sorry. And um, so it's open at any time for anyone to come and see. It is. We're also open to having you guys be involved in our activity process as well. If there's any type of volunteer, please come and see Vicki. Um, we would love for you to come and help and, and be involved in those processes. Yes, yes. So as we mentioned, and there is so much going on each day. I mean, anything from physical activities, games, sing-alongs, um, so, and, and anything else that... Uh, someone may have in mind. So definitely keep it in mind. Um, Joseph C. Thomas is on the other side of the campus. So we just want to make sure that, uh, that, that you all know that we are always thinking about JCT. And um, JCT is an integral part of our community, especially offering the three memory care um, households, which really provide a lot of wonderful support to those residents. Yep. And of course, uh, the household model is employed there as well as all of our other um, skilled nursing and assisted living um, uh, facilities. So definitely a lot for us to see and a lot that they're doing there at JCT. One wonderful thing that we got to uh, witness was the pumpkin decorating contest. So tell us about that. So I challenged each of my staff members to, um, we provided the pumpkins, of course, um, to be as creative as they possibly could um, and to have them decorate the pumpkins. Um, there were only a few guidelines to making sure it wasn't gory or scary in any way, but just something that was fun. Um, and the multitude of pumpkins, we had 13 pumpkins that were decorated, um, which is amazing. And all of them were absolutely fabulous. Um, if you missed it, please check out our Facebook page. They are on there, um, as well as the winners. So please check that out. There were a lot of really cool, a lot of talent, a lot of creativity. And I'm very proud of the team that put all of that together. It really, it was quite impressive. I mean, you had everything from um, the ice cream pumpkin to 
an elaborate, uh, what's the character for? Ola. Ola. Yeah. I mean, the pumpkin looked just like Ola. It did. It really did. Um, to the Smashing Pumpkins. I mean, it was really yeah. um, a, an elaborate and uh, a lot of talent that uh, the team members have there, yeah. a lot of time and effort that was put into it. So that's the kind of thing that goes on at the Joseph C. Thomas Center. So um, always keep uh, JCT in mind. And definitely, as um, uh, Sarah mentioned, if you are interested in uh, volunteering, we would certainly welcome you to do so. Um, there, we are in the process of um, hiring a lifestyle coordinator there, and so all the help that um, we can get at this time would be appreciated. So if you know someone who has a passion for um, taking care of seniors and enhancing their lives with activities and events, things that make them feel very special, please let them know about this position or go on our website and you will find the job description. Uh, is, it, is it currently there? If it, it is. I think we actually filled the position already. Oh, yes. Well. I tell you, we, we didn't get a chance to talk a whole lot, and I think I kind of sprung that, uh, <laughs> that, that subject, but yes. all volunteers, especially even in that case with someone coming on board, all of the hands and, and effort of others are greatly appreciated. So congratulations. Yeah. I'm so Thank happy to you. hear that, Sarah. Thank you. And I certainly do appreciate you joining me today for the broadcast. As I mentioned, I know your days are very busy, and for you to take the time out to be with me today and to share this time with the viewers is, uh, I, I know it is a sacrifice, but we really do appreciate your time today. And we thank you for all that you are doing at JCT, doing a wonderful job and things are just, it's a, it's a great place to be. I enjoyed my time with you all last week. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure for me to come and be with you today. Yes, thank you so much. Now, I just had a few quick announcements. Um, one of which is uh, Delicious Gourmet Ice is canceled for today. They will not be joining us today on the Oaks Lawn. Hopefully, they'll be back next week. And also, there will be no Friday dinner special this week in preparation for next week's tailgate party for the Virginia Tech UVA game. And, of course, um, on, on Sunday... There will be a special Halloween Sunday brunch. So come out and celebrate Halloween at the Answer Cafe where the menu will include boil and bubble soup. Uh, that is spinach soup with nutmeg and Parmesan, Dracula Delight salad, um, pumpkin hamwich, and that is a pumpkin buttermilk biscuit with crispy ham and honey butter. Devil's chicken, uh, tomato braised chicken served with mashed potatoes, and roasted bat ris risotto. And that is, uh, of course, plump portobello mushrooms and a creamy risotto served with autumn vegetables. And cemetery cake will be the dessert. Pumpkin pie cheesecake with ginger snap crust all for $10.99 so make sure that you um, join us right here after Sunday service um, and please make your reservation by calling 540-283-2822 and um, reservations are required for large groups as well and finally I just like to leave you with our quote from the jar of awesomeness and um, this uh, quote is in honor of National Civics Day today. And this is when we celebrate the importance of civic education and acknowledge the rights and obligations of citizens in society. We all play a role in our society um, and uh, we do so in our community here, Richfield and the greater community. And so recognizing our responsibilities there is very important. My quote comes from um, the great Mahatma Gandhi, and it states, the best way to find yourself 
is to lose yourself in the service of others. And administrators like Sarah and the many dedicated team members here at Richfield do just that every day. So we thank you for that. Thank you very much for joining us today. And I look forward to seeing you all on Monday for the 1111 AM Fireside Chat. Until then, enjoy your day, your week, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.